right guys uh, I want to make a quick video of my 1950 model uh, Oliver D2 dozer crawler tractor something got me on dozers this week man I got dozers on the brain uh, don't ask me why look at the tracks on this bad boy to be no bigger than this tractor is it's got tracks on it the size of a D5 uh, look at that you talking about a chain and heavy duty man a lot I just wish somebody hadn't nailed uh, welded that old rebar to it buddy that, that, you talk about tear the yard up you can't go across any grass without tearing it up if you turn even if you don't turn it tears it up had to do quite a bit of work to it it run good today I got it I wouldn't have bought it otherwise I mean I, I crawled it right up on the trailer no problem but since then I found a lot of loose stuff uh, when you get in a certain bind you'd hear it click 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 like something was hitting the drive shaft so got under there and looked in the rear end it was just loose as it could be the bolts were shot replaced it all with grade 8 hard bolts done some u-bolt work and welding buddy that frame is connected to that rear end now in a way you'd have to see to believe see the u-bolts I added right there whopper big u-bolts hooked right straight to the frame all kind of bracing Got the traction bar style brakes there going down to the carry, uh, to the uh, bottom of the tracks. No way that rear end going anywhere. This tractor was made to work, oh buddy. Look at that belt drive right there. You can put the PTO in and you can run a sawmill with it. But these things were made to work and that's what they were designed for. I built the little roll cage because I like to got my leg torn off pushing a tree out of the backyard. A big tree somehow or another. I got it a certain way and it flopped around and a limb come back one of the limbs and just like took my leg off. So. I thought, well, I'll, I'll, I'll build me a roll bar. Uh, added the control panel, oil pressure gauge, temperature gauge, flip switches, key to crank it with. Real simple the way this bad boy works. It just pull the big handle on the right back. You turn right, pull it left, you go left. Got a clutch like a car. If you want to stop, just push clutch in, change gears. Changed out all the fluids, final drive fluid, drained out the rear end dope, filled it with diesel fuel and uh, cleaned it up, filled it back with new fluid, changed the oil, got the alternator charging, reworked the starter, rebuilt the carburetor, a uh, new muffler. Now most of this stuff, you know, it, it didn't really need, the starter would start, but it was this weak, the alternator wouldn't charge and had to do that, tuned it up. Um, I just don't have no property to, to operate it on. If you, you, uh, there's no no way to do anything. I just you know I'm limited here on my space. Well, listen, folks, I'm out of time. I, I'm gonna have to get me a camera or get this stuff out of this camera where I can make longer videos. Y'all have a good one, okay? I'm sorry.